Welcome back to Be The Trader, everybody. Today I have a brand new episode from the Tandem Trading Series, and I hope you really enjoy this. A lot of you guys keep sending me comments, letting me know you want more. So here it is for you. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you're notified for more episodes like this. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. So this morning I'm watching SPI. We got a spiker, it's up 185%. We just rotated its float. If you look on the daily, we have failed spikes everywhere. However, I just not gonna short this right now. I like to short when it gets closer to the open. We're still about an hour away from the open and I'm just not trusting this. This is the first time we've had a stock do this in a long time where it gaps up this high pre-market. So I may miss this. I already borrowed shares, but I gotta be willing to miss it. Okay, so my initial plan is really if we start to break under this key pivot, I'll start shorting, but I'm hoping we get a squeeze is what I'm looking for. We'll see. So I'm pretty much just uh, waiting. And as of right now, I'm really waiting for like some big volume to come in and have a rejection. What I need to remember on this play is <clears throat> there's plenty of room for it to come down. And because of that, especially look at the daily, you know, these spikes fell. So there's plenty of room to come down. So what I should do is make sure that, you know, if we open kind of weak here and we don't have a spike to high a day, then once I see a sign of weakness, I'll start shorting especially if we start to break this pivot here. But I prefer to shorten to a spike. So I'm gonna be looking for some kind of spike with some slowdown or weakness or rejection. But we'll see. I mean, right now we're rejecting this trend line. 
and we could spike up here and reject it again so we'll see that's the ideal short up here but if I have to get it down here well then that means I have to get it down there but I prefer if it is lower I, I, I'm sorry I prefer if it's up here rather than down here so we'll see what happens I hope it doesn't die right at the open I hope we get some kind of spike but we'll see. Alright, this is what I like to see. We're getting the spike. We're getting something that's finally moving. And the plan is let's hope that this thing can continue, right? Let's hope that it can continue. I hope it spikes. So I'm paying attention to this jump. If we have a weak break right here with some hard rejection, like this volume is nice, then I'm interested in starting it short. So I took a starter, the closer we get to the open, I'm going to keep my risk at that 420 area. But if we start to break this before the open, I may just cover it right away. Um, but we'll see. It'd be ideal for it to hover around here, have a weak break at the open, and then I can add more to my position. So now my plan is to add more shares at the open on a pop and risking ultimately 424.
looking for, and I could still be wrong here, that's why I covered too. Like, I could easily be wrong here. But in the event that I am right, I'm looking for pretty much $3. And that would be an ideal scenario. Ideally, ultimately, this would be the best price target. But three dollars, anywhere sub three is what I want. But ideally, two sixties. We'll see if we get it or if I get stopped out. I'm still not real comfortable because. We're holding that trend line, the five minute, this wick is nice, but we have huge volume. No real big rejection except this wick, but no like big red selling except here and it's not bigger. So I need to see something to be more convinced. Still not convinced because the volume is massive on the buy side, but I do like these wicks still because you can see all these buyers, but we still couldn't get up there. So I feel good, but mm, until we start to break this trend, there we go. I'm not going to be like super convinced. I got an order covering a small piece at 305 just in case we get a quick flush. And gonna hold the rest until this 260 area or lower. I mean, we're up 200%. It's been a while since we've been up this high on a stock. At the same time, I mean, I really like, I'm starting to like this price action, but I really would like to see some big volume on the five minute rejection too. So we'll see. So I covered some more. I'm actually about to leave and I want to be 100% comfortable when I leave to go to uh, a wedding. And because of that, I am going to go to a normal one hour risk. So I was downsized. Because this is an A plus setup, I sized in a lot bigger and was covering a little sooner. 
but my main core I'm not covering until sub three. And uh, in order for me to be able to hold that to get here, I had to size it appropriately. I don't, you know, I still think it's going to go there. That's why I'm holding it. But I just wanted to cover that piece just because I just don't want to be in this while I'm away. And I got to start getting ready. So I'm going to let this play out. I'm going to put my alerts. And after I put my alerts, I'm going to go ahead and let the stock do its thing. And at that point, I will uh, sit back and relax. Let the stock take me out or in terms of a stop or give me my profits. I ended, up getting, I ended up getting stopped out on the rest and I'm done with this trade and you can see that it ended up holding you know look like we we're breaking down but then even this looks great but then we reclaim and squeezed so good sign to possibly get out around here but I didn't take that I wanted to hold to my risk which I did and ended up getting stopped out right here 424 which i got lucky because look at it now it's just squeezing if you're liking this type of content make sure to comment below let me know your thoughts and any ideas that come to your mind share those below as well because those ideas can spark new ideas for me to do new types of content on top of that make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified for future content that comes out because i do multiple pieces of work weekly thanks